become scammed by some who tricked her into thinking he was doing homework. Laura Mazza thought she'd come up with a cunning plan to tackle her work and keep an eye on her son as he did his schoolwork. But that couldn't have been further from the truth. A busy mum was scammed by her five-year-old son after he fooled her into thinking he was doing his homework. Laura Mazza thought she had the art of parenting nailed after coming up with a brilliant way to tell the mountain of work she had to do as well as keeping an eye on her son Luca as he did his homework in another room. Laura wanted him to feel trusted. Ha <laughs> ha! Trust a five-year-old? Good one, Laura. She said, I put first time on. So if Luca has a question, when I'm supervised, he can ask. Meanwhile, occasionally I quickly pick up my phone and have a peek, and it looked like he was listening. After a little while, I picked up my phone to tell him he could have a break, but he stayed eerily still with the same facial expression. I assumed that the screen had just frozen, so I went upstairs to check on him. As I walked up the stairs, I could hear him singing and playing with one of his toys. Funny enough, I actually thought that maybe he heard me say, Break time! But I ran off quickly to go play, and it was frozen. So I went over and saw a rather odd little setup that looked like two iPads mating. My cheeky five year old son had his sister's iPad propped up and situated perfectly in front of his own iPad's camera lens. What was on his sister's iPad, I hear you ask? Ha! Huh. A picture of him sitting at the desk looking slightly amused. Not just one picture, multiple pictures. He put up a fake picture so it would look like he was sitting there listening. What an absolute genius! Nursery teachers virtual story time ruined by raunchy horses in the background. Eloise Roberts decided to make a change from filming story time for her nursery pupil on her sofa and instead used horses, sarsens and anakin as the backdrop. It didn't quite go to plan. A nursery teacher was forced to relocate a story time video for her young pupils after being left in stitches by the raunchy behaviour of the horses in the background. With nursery staff and pupils stuck at home during the coronavirus lockdown, teacher Eloise Roberts has been creating videos and projects to keep the little ones busy and entertained. When Eloise prepared to film herself reading another bedtime story, she decided to swap her usual backdrop of a living room sofa and take advantage of the horse riding school run by her partner, Steph Smith. Eloise wrote in Steph to act as camera operator for her reading of Pop Up Peekaboo, unicorn in front of the field where horses Sarsons and Anne Aiken live to provide a more exciting story time experience. As the teacher begins reading about the character Cupcake flying through the forest and fluttering her beautiful wings, Eloise begins to giggle at the horseplay going on behind her. But as Steph's camera pans to the floor, Eloise senses something is wrong and turns around to see Sarsons and Anakin choosing their moment for a bit of uh, um, intimate time together. It left Eloise and Steph in hysterics as the reading came to an abrupt halt. And after two failed attempts to complete the book in front of the affectionate horses, they were forced to relocate to a different field. With the outtakes too inappropriate to make the final cut, Eloise decided to share the hilarious video with friends and family on social media and said, The 32-year-old from Merseyside in England said, I was trying to do a little video for the kids. Something different instead of being sat inside on the sofa. But the horses had other ideas. 
And they can only got down the last year so he can still be a bit frisky. But I was still not expecting that. The whole time they'd been out in the field, they hadn't been doing that. But as soon as I started reading, they started. They must have been bored of my story. I could see Steph laughing and I could hear the horses rub to something. I didn't want to stop reading to look. But as I did, I burst out laughing too. We then tried to film it a second time, but they just kept 